Whitney was fired for helping a blind boy at the supermarket where she worked. But just 24 hours later, she received news that changed her life forever. That eventful morning, Whitney got to the supermarket, a few minutes to 7 a.m. She had attended to over 20 shoppers by the time she looked up and saw a strange-looking boy aged about 10 entering the supermarket. Whitney quickly noticed that the boy was blind. He wore sunglasses and walked with the aid of a special walking stick. Whitney was still staring at the blind boy when a shopper dropped his shopping basket on her counter, so he turned her attention away from the boy to attend to the shopper. When Whitney was done with the shopper, she glanced back towards the direction of the blind boy, and it was then that she witnessed a scene that really touched her. Whitney watched as the boy turned around to ask for some assistance from a shopper that had just gone past him. The shopper turned, stared at the boy for a while, then quickly walked away without uttering a single word to him. That did it for Whitney. Something inside her just melted at that very moment, and she vowed to help the boy in any way possible. So Whitney quickly left her counter and walked over to the boy. When she reached him, she gently tapped him on the shoulder. The boy immediately turned towards her and warmly greeted her. Whitney asked the boy what his name was, and after he replied Mike, Whitney asked him if she could be of any assistance to him. Mike politely asked Whitney if she would mind helping him get some groceries from the shelves. Whitney was happy to help. She took Mike's hand, grabbed the shopping basket, and they shopped together. Mike told Whitney what he wanted, and she just picked them up. When they were done shopping, Whitney took Mike to her counter. Most of Mike's groceries consisted of canned food, packets of cereals, beverages, and other essentials for a total value of $185. But as Mike was taking his wallet out, Whitney said she would take care of the bill herself. Mike was touched and he profusely thanked Whitney for her kindness. Whitney arranged Mike's groceries in a paper bag, and as Mike made to collect the bag and leave, Whitney, to his utmost surprise, told him to wait that she intended to see him off. Whitney then grabbed Mike's hand and led him out of the crowded supermarket while carrying his grocery bag for him. Outside the supermarket, Whitney told Mike that she would flag down a taxi driver to take him directly home. As they were waiting for a taxi, Whitney asked Mike why he had come to the supermarket alone despite his disability. Mike replied that he was an orphan living alone with his grandma. She was the one who did the shopping, but she had fallen sick three days ago so he had no choice but to do the shopping himself. After Mike's emotional story, Whitney felt for him so much that she felt like crying, as she was an orphan herself. She saved this home address in her phone and promised to visit him on her day off. Whitney finally flagged down a taxi and held the taxi's door as Mike entered. She paid Mike's fare and directed the driver to drop Mike right at his home. Whitney stood there waving at Mike until the taxi disappeared down the road not realizing that Mike couldn't see her. She then suddenly looked at her wristwatch and realized to her horror that she had been helping Mike for over 15 minutes. Worried, she quickly dashed back to her counter, hoping that Mr. Paulson, the new manager, hadn't noticed her absence. But it was too late. The office intercom on her desk rang as soon as she returned to her counter. Whitney picked up the receiver with trembling hands, being fully aware that it must be the manager calling. Sure enough, it was Mr. Paulson himself, asking her to report to his office at once. Mr. Paulson had caught everything that had happened between Whitney and Mike on the large CCTV camera display screen on his desk. The man virtually watched the screen all day long, monitoring everything going on in the supermarket. So when Whitney slowly entered his office, Mr. Paulson wasted no time at all before harshly telling her off. He angrily reprimanded Whitney for abandoning her duties for almost an hour to assist a mere blind boy. Whitney tried to explain to the manager that the blind boy seemed lost and needed some assistance, but Mr. Paulson thundered back at her. Miss Whitney, you are employed here as a cashier, not as a caregiver. This is a business we're running here for God's sake, not a charity. Worst of all, you left some serious customers on the queue waiting for you. While you were playing the good Samaritan with that boy, so you know what, Miss Whitney? You're fired. Let this serve as a warning to others that no form of incompetence will be tolerated under my tenure. Now, get out of my office. Mr. Paulson finished. The news hit Whitney like a letter bomb. 
She immediately knelt down to beg Mr. Paulson to reconsider his decision. But Mr. Paulson was finished with her. He even left her kneeling there and went out for lunch. Whitney then stood up and left the office. She managed to tell her colleague Jennifer about the sacking amidst tears before she finally left the supermarket still crying. When Whitney got home, the first thing she did was to switch off her phone. She wasn't in the mood to talk to anyone at that moment. Then she felt like giving up. Her parents were both dead. She was the one taking care of her only sister, who was in college. So, how was she going to survive without a job? Was this the price she had to pay for just helping a blind boy? All these thoughts kept going on in Whitney's mind as she cried herself to sleep. Whitney woke up the next morning feeling depressed and was still lying in bed when she heard a gentle knock on her door. Whitney opened the door to find two strange women standing outside with a kind look on their faces. They asked if they could come inside for a minute. Once seated, one of the women introduced herself as Mrs. Helen Williams, a famed social media content creator and influencer. Mrs. Williams then told Whitney that she had actually been at the supermarket the previous day and that she had in fact captured everything that had transpired between her and Mike on camera. Whitney was shocked but said nothing, though she continued staring at Mrs. Williams with doubt written all over her face. To clear Whitney's doubts, Mrs. Williams brought out her tablet, opened the video and handed over the tablet to Whitney. Whitney was astonished to watch a video of herself with Mike inside the supermarket. The video even clearly captured Whitney crying as she was leaving the supermarket. When Mrs. Williams sensed that she had dispelled Whitney's doubts, she continued her story. She explained to Whitney that she had been so touched to see her helping Mike that she had decided to capture the whole scene on camera and use the video to create an online content. She had planned to title the online content, So We Still Have Such Kind People Today. Then, some few minutes later, she was shocked beyond belief to see Whitney leaving the supermarket crying profusely. So she had also decided to capture the emotional scene on camera to get the full story Mrs. Williams had then taken to the last person she saw Whitney talking with to understand what had happened. Imagine her dismay when Jennifer told her that Whitney had just been sacked for helping the blind boy. Mrs. Williams had been so saddened that she had vowed to help Whitney's cause by sharing the video online and narrating everything that had happened. Mrs. Williams did just that when she got home. The video immediately went viral, with thousands of viewers voicing their support for Whitney and condemning Mr. Paulson in less than 24 hours. Mrs. Williams stopped speaking at this point. Then the other woman introduced herself as Mrs. Mary Smith, the director of Ford Foundation for the Blind. Mrs. Smith told Whitney that her boss and owner of the foundation, a blind billionaire named Adam Ford, had called her that morning. He had instructed her to contact Mrs. Williams and to go in search of Whitney at once. Whitney looked quite confused and was still trying to make sense of the whole situation when Mrs. Smith continued her explanations. Mr. Ford's wife, Monica, had watched the video about Whitney and had been really impressed by her kindness and horrified by the unfair treatment it had gotten her. So she told her husband. Upon hearing this story, Mr. Ford also felt sorry for Whitney and decided to reward her for her kindness. That's why he sent Mrs. Smith and Miss Williams to her house. He wanted to make her a deal and also help Mike with her help. At that point, Mrs. Smith announced with a warm smile that Mr. Ford had decided to give Whitney a $100,000 check for her kindness towards Mike. He was also willing to give her the position of assistant director in his foundation. It came with a six-figure salary. The position also came with a new car and loads of other mouth-watering perks. Whitney was dumbfounded. She didn't even know what to do or say. The good news was just too overwhelming for her to take that she started crying immediately. But this time, it was tears of joy and not of sorrow. Whitney later took the two women to Mike's house. Mike warmly welcomed Whitney and was so happy to hear her voice again. Then after the normal greeting and introductions, Mr. Smith happily announced to Mike and her grandma that Mr. Ford had also donated $50,000 to each of them and wished to provide monthly allowances of $5,000 each for upkeep. The man also wished to offer Mike a full scholarship in a special school for the blind. Mike's grandma was so happy that despite her sickness, she got up and embraced Whitney very tightly. 
heaping praises and blessings on her. Mike also joined the embrace, while the two other women cheered them on. A week later, Whitney started working as the assistant director at Ford Foundation for the Blind with a salary that was almost 10 times her previous salary at the supermarket. It is heartwarming to know that kindness really still pays, doesn't it? What do you think about the way Whitney was rewarded? Feel free to share your thoughts in the comment section. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.